Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with Concrete Gains, and today we're gonna build a squat bench press rack combo. It's gonna be about six foot tall, and it's gonna be outdoor rated, so we're using treated lumber to make it water resistant, so it'll last a good while. Um, here are the tools we need. We got a chop saw. You don't have to use this though. You can use a circular saw, a skill saw, or a hand saw if you really wanted to. Um, a drill with a T25 bit. We use index screws. I have some cheaper ones right here, and then some more higher quality ones that I'm gonna use for the J cup areas. Uh, some basic hand tools. We got a speed square, tape measure, pencil, safety glasses, stuff like that. Um, I'm using a four by six treated post. You can use a four x four if you wanted to. This is just gonna be a little bit more sturdy. Um, they're gonna be the vertical posts for the squat rack. Uh, the two by fours right here are gonna be my horizontal struts and my two uh, other struts. And then I'm gonna make some diagonal pieces as braces. So let's get into this. So first I'm going to set up my chop saw and cut all my lumber um, into the dimensions that I need. All right, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and marked all of my wood pieces. The six by four post is exactly a 12 footer. So I went ahead and just, I'm just cutting in half and there's gonna be my two sides that are gonna be equal height, about six foot. And then my two by fours are gonna be uh, four foot increments. So I'm gonna make four of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. got the two vertical pieces standing up and I've got my top connector struts up there. I'm going to put these other three struts on the floor and kind of make a C-shaped uh, piece as a foundation and a base. Um, so this one is going to be, as you can see, I'm a little tall for this one. So it's going to be for someone who's uh, shorter than me, like under six foot or so, uh, because this is like right at six foot. So you could actually do pull-ups on this too if you wanted to. So. The measurements I'm using for bench and squat are going to be 35 and 52. It depends on what kind of person you are, how tall you are, uh, but those are the measurements I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and make those marks right here. So my brace is going to be a miter cut like this, and it's going to be from long point to long point, it's going to be 24 inches. And that's a 45 degree angle. All right, so what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm making the uh, guards for the J cups. So these are my uh, plates that are gonna be the actual J cup holders. This is gonna go right here to hold uh, the barbell when it's a squat. And the pressure is gonna be on this piece of wood and then this little piece of wood is going to guard the barbell from sliding off the opposite direction. So that's going to go on there like that. I have a 33 and a half degree angle that I'm using for the angle for the guard pieces. Um, these ones are 12 inches, these are 10 inches, and these are 5 inches. So right now I'm going to make the last two little guard pieces to go on the bench press holders. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So here we can kind of see what the layout's gonna be on the floor to get a better angle here. Um, this is the diagonal brace I was telling you about. That's gonna go right here, like so. And then the other one on the other side, uh, symmetrically. So we have these two struts and then this one connector. Um, and I'm just gonna start screwing everything together. <laughs> Okay guys, so for the J-Cup plates, I am gonna be using a slightly different screw. It's just a more expensive uh, deck screw. It's still three inches, 
Uh, so when I put these up here, I get the best kind of bond and fastening uh, that I can get. Okay, so as you can see, I did put six screws in it, um, three pairs of two. So another thing guys, um, analyzing these screws and talking about different fasteners, um, there's different levels to these things. Some screws, like a, this Phillips head, um, really basic run of the mill uh, construction fastener, these things are not gonna hold up if you're doing something like this for a J cup holder. Um, these will shear off. Um, I've even just using these in construction, building things, building walls for houses and stuff. Um, the heads will pop off if you put enough torque on these things. Um, part of the screw will just, the shank will just shear off from itself um, in doing so. Uh, but something like this deck screw that has the T25 head, these things are incredibly tough. They're a lot tougher than um, the other Phillips head run of the mill construction fasteners. These things, you can put a ton of torque on them. They will not break. I've never had one of these break, uh, like the head or the, or the shaft just shear off from itself. And I've tried to cut these things with sawzalls, and they are—they take a ton of work to cut these through. So this is just a much hardened, uh, more higher grade level steel that I feel comfortable using it for a J-cut holder like this. But then again, use at your own discretion. Okay, guys. So we're done with this project. Um, just to reiterate. With the screws though, I do recommend using something like a Deck Plus brand screw for the J-Cup holders. Uh, just to reiterate, that is really important to make sure that those screws and those fasteners are the strongest ones uh, in the whole project. The other ones just holding like this strut or the bottom struts together, those can be just any kind of old construction fastener that's decently strong. So we're out here testing the squat rack that we built. I'm gonna see how much weight I can put on. We already have about 400 or so pounds right here. So add on 10 more pounds, get up to 495. As you can see, solid 500 pounds plus with this thing. If you're gonna be squatting like way more than that, then maybe this isn't the rack for you, but as you can see, 500 pounds easy for this thing. You are wondering too about the plates of how I make these plates. Um, I make concrete barbell weights uh, in 45, 25, tens, and five increments. I have a whole video showing how to do that, how to pour the concrete in, how to the best way to do that. And I actually have an ebook uh, detailing all of the plans of how to create the forms, the dimensions, the sizes, the tools, and step-by-step -step procedures and processes. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the, my channel and thank you guys so much have a blessed day and go get those gains